Today we're talking about how to use a tampa dot the right way. Now these are used in practice, they're a single use clinical tool so that we aren't taking equipment from bedside to bedside, but they're not always used correctly. So we're going to show you how to use them and how to read them right after this. Welcome back, my name is Tammy and this is Nurse Minder and on this channel we do everything nursing. So if you're new here, consider subscribing below so that you get the next video when it's released. So we're going to talk about oral temperature first. Now before we do an oral temperature, we need to actually make sure our patient is prepped for an accurate reading. Some of the things we need to ask or consider are, one, what kind of temperature exposure has occurred in the last 15 minutes? So for example, have they had a cold beverage? Have they been eating their meal? Did they go outside for a cigarette? All of those things will interfere with getting an accurate reading and you will need to wait 15 minutes before you administer the Tempa Dot for a reading. The second thing we'll talk about is placement. In terms of the Tempa Dot, one side is blank and the other side has the the dots that we're going to read the temperature on. This can go under the tongue in either direction, but we want to get it back far enough under the tongue such that the tongue is pressing down on the tempa dot. Leave in for 60 seconds. After removing it, you'll need to wait 10 seconds to lock in the number. The first blue dot following any number in a line represents that number. So for example, 35.5, 35.6, 7, 8, and 9. The second row where we have our last blue dot activated is the actual temperature of our patient, in this case 36.0. Now we're going to talk about how to take a temperature using your tempa dot and the axilla. Sometimes your patient can't follow instructions to do an oral temperature, so we're going to use the axilla instead. Now you want to actually make sure that the dots are flush against the skin, the axilla. And often what is seen in clinical is that we just put it in and we can see that the edge is out, but that's not the correct way. So instead, what we want to do is put it parallel, tempa dots in, parallel so that the patient's arm secures it in there. And then you need to wait for three minutes for that to cook. While you're waiting your three minutes, it's a good time to maybe do a pulse check, to ask your patient if they've had any pain, if they slept well, get some of your subjective questions taken care of. And then don't forget to come back to this. Inaccurate readings will occur if you leave it for more than five minutes. So we want to make sure we're taking it out after three. In taking a look at this reading, we see that we have 36.1 degrees Celsius for a temperature. That is our lesson for today. Simple, straightforward, now you can use your Tampa Dot with confidence. Be sure to subscribe to stay connected and you'll get the next release when it is available. And until I see you next time, make it a great day.